Good morning. Thank you very much uh, for coming. We're going to start with the short introductory statements by the Secretary General and the President of Georgia, and then we'll be happy to take some of your questions. Secretary General. Good morning. Um, it is indeed a great pleasure to see uh, President Sakasvili uh, again and uh, to welcome him uh, to NATO uh, headquarters. Um, we last met a few months ago uh, in Batumi, uh, when the President uh, hosted uh, a visit of the North Atlantic Council uh, to Georgia. Uh, now, the North Atlantic Council uh, is about to host uh, the President, uh, and that shows um, that our dialogue is uh, deep, it's intensive, uh, and it really is a two-way street. Uh, Georgia is a special partner for NATO. You are committed to our operations, to NATO accession, and committed to reforms. You already contribute the second largest <coughs> non-NATO force to our mission in Afghanistan. And by the end of this year, you will be the largest non-NATO uh, ISAF partner. Your troops are uh, doing an outstanding job, shoulder to shoulder with uh, NATO troops under challenging circumstances. Some have given their lives in our shared course, and I pay tribute to their sacrifice, and I offer my deepest condolences to their families and loved ones. But our relationship goes far beyond Afghanistan. Georgia aspires to join our alliance, and we support your aspirations. We agreed at the Bucharest summit in 2008 that Georgia will become a member of NATO. That decision stands firm. And let me reaffirm the Alliance recognizes Georgia's territorial integrity and its sovereignty within internationally recognized borders. The Alliance does not recognize the elections held recently in the Georgian regions of Abkhazia and South Ossetia. The holding of these elections does not contribute to a peaceful and lasting settlement of the situation in Georgia. Georgia has become a model of commitment, cooperation and connectivity with the Alliance, and we encourage you to continue that way. One month ago, we agreed on strengthening and broadening the connections between NATO and Georgia. This will support your reforms, increase our ability to operate together, and strengthen the capacity of the Georgian institutions to pursue your Euro-Atlantic agenda and goals. This is a long road, um, and we are taking it one step at a time. But you have already made good progress, and I trust that you will continue with your progress and your reforms as you approach the parliamentary elections this year. Those elections will be an important test for Georgia's democracy and a chance to show how far you have come. I know that allies will follow them uh, closely. In all, Georgia is a model partner. Mr. President, I look forward to seeing you again in Chicago, where allies and partners will make clear our continued commitment to Afghanistan. And I expect that in Chicago, we will also make clear how much we appreciate and recognize the commitment you show to NATO and the steady progress you have made. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Secretary General. First, I would like to really underline how grateful me and our people, which is more important, are for your very strong personal stand uh, in support of Georgia. 
in your previous capacity as Prime Minister of Denmark, we'll never forget your strong statements in 2008, the fact that you came to Tbilisi immediately after the events that took place then. Uh, my first official visit uh, after the events was to Denmark, and that was, again, I will never forget your reception. And then, in this very efficient co quality which you have now and the very successful mission of being Secretary General of the Alliance, you've been very strong in supporting Georgia's NATO aspirations, in supporting our reforms, in supporting Georgia's territorial integrity, annexability, underlying the annexability of the status quo with our regions. And certainly this is something that makes historic difference for long-term prospects for not only for my country but also for our um, for our region we also appreciate the way how you to really led nato through very difficult missions and for us success of that mission is absolutely essential for our long-term survival success and further progress um, we uh, we certainly are committed to further changes. We are looking forward to Chicago. I think the framework we are now getting for Chicago looks more and more hopeful because it really underlines that Georgia has been moving forward. That's very important to underline. Uh, I, I noticed, uh, Mr. Secretary General, that twice in your short statement today, you mentioned Georgia as a model, as a role, a role model and a model country. And this really my, goes to what I, I visited President Obama in January. And President Obama called Georgia model for the whole region of uh, uh, reforms and, and changes and, uh, uh, and democracy building. And I think the fact that you're also talking about this model of a Georgia is for us special, of special significance. It's first, the first time underlines our progress, but also how committed we should stay to this kind of thing. You know, we, um, you know, we have elections um, this year and we call strongly on international community, on European Union, European Parliament, uh, the um, OEC, uh, our partner countries, all, including the members of the Alliance, to send not only short-term but long-term observers to do polling of opinion, public opinion for all this period, <coughs> monitor Georgia media coverage, monitor <coughs> no, party, party financing mechanism in Georgia in order to ensure that not just the day of elections but the whole process is transparent, predictable for, from the point of view of observing standards, and we exclude any kind of surprises or any kind of un, uh, you know, biased and um, not such well-wishing pre pressure on the whole process from outside or from destructive elements from uh, any side. So from that point of view, we really want your help this year. Uh, and we will certainly be committed to making this thing. Usually countries try to avoid, uh, especially in my regions, all kind of international intrusion into their election process. We want it. We want it to, in order to make the whole thing um, sustainable and uh, institutional building irreversible. From the other point of view, you know, we certainly are committed to our mission in Afghanistan. This is a hard mission. Thank you for underlining. But we know what's at stake here. We know that we, it also brings us close to alliance. It also makes our, uh, you know, it also resonates with Georgian history of being um, part of a wider Western civilized, or in this case, democratic wider community. And from that point of view, we know, and our people know that despite the losses, what's at stake there, what's at stake for international community, and what's at stake for our region, and what's at stake for us and our, for our future. It's also good that it helps to develop Georgia's own capacities that has been evolving with your help, and we certainly count that, you know, with the enhanced connectivity idea that now we have with NATO, with NATO Georgia Commission that has really proven to be the right venue for this, I think we're moving forward. Again, I'm looking forward to seeing North Atlantic Council. It's our second meeting for the last several months. You've been very generous in your positive assessment last time when you were in Georgia of our reforms. We've done quite some progress after that too. I'll report about this progress to, to NAC. And uh, we'll, I'll be very open to, to all kinds of questions. We know it's always a frank discussion. And that's what we appreciate in NATO. It's not just a ceremonial thing. It's really a place to discuss real business and to have real decisions taken. Please don't forget to introduce yourself and which media you come from. We'll go over there. Thank you very much. Uh, Georgian Public Broadcaster, Mr. Secretary General, how the progress made by Georgia, you mentioned about it, will be uh, reflected in Chicago. Thank you. We have not yet made the final decisions as, as to how we will um, 
uh, organize um, uh, partnership uh, events uh, in um, uh, Chicago. But I think um, we will uh, reflect our uh, special uh, partnership uh, with uh, Georgia in, in three ways. Firstly, reflect that uh, Georgia is one of the major contributors uh, to uh, our operation uh, in Afghanistan. Secondly, reflect that Georgia in general uh, is um, a major contributor uh, to um, uh, the transatlantic uh, cooperation uh, within uh, the special NATO Georgia uh, 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 Commission. Um, um, and um, um, uh, thirdly, uh, that uh, Georgia uh, is also considered an aspirant uh, country, a country that aspires to become a future uh, member of um, uh, NATO. Uh, all in all, uh, I hope um, that could be uh, reflected uh, in a strong um, declaration statement uh, from um, uh, from uh, the summit, and as regards special partnership events, uh, we are still considering how uh, they will be organized. Uh, no final decision has been made yet. One other question over there. Uh, Sophie Zurabiani, Georgian TV company, Imadi. Now, I would like to ask you a question to both of you. Um, uh, you uh, answered me yesterday, um, Secretary General, that uh, one of the main issues uh, today uh, would be uh, um, uh, security issues. So that's why I'm asking, what's the Georgia's role in, in the uh, security uh, in the region? And the second question, you've mentioned already uh, progress made by Georgia in the way toward NATO, but uh, it's very important question to media, that's why I would like to specify on it. So how would you evaluate progress made uh, in Georgia-NATO relations and also on the way of its democratization reforms? Thank you so much. Firstly, on <clears throat> um, the contribution to uh, regional uh, peace and uh, stability, we appreciate um, uh, the very clear statements uh, from President Sargasvili as well as uh, the Georgian government um, that uh, Georgia is committed uh, to finding uh, peaceful solutions uh, to uh, uh, the regional uh, disputes. Um, and we support uh, those uh, efforts. Um, uh, we also s uh, strongly uh, uh, support um, um, <coughs> the, the Geneva talks uh, with the aim uh, to, to find a solution uh, to uh, the conflict uh, on uh, Abkhazia and South uh, Ossetia. Um, uh, but br more broadly speaking about security, um, the President also made clear today uh, that um, uh, the Georgian engagement uh, in Afghanistan should also be seen uh, as a strong contribution to uh, regional security because um, what is going on in Afghanistan will also have repercussions uh, in uh, the broader uh, region, including uh, in the Caucasus. So um, I think uh, Georgia uh, has demonstrated that Georgia is not just a consumer of security, um, Georgia is also a producer of, a provider uh, of uh, security. As regards um, uh, the reform uh, process, uh, we have seen clear progress uh, when it comes to uh, democratic reforms um, in Georgia. Uh, we have discussed that on several occasions uh, and we appreciate very much uh, legislation that has been uh, passed uh, to um, uh, improve um, the way uh, democracy functions uh, in uh, Georgia. Um, in more specific terms, when it comes to um, reforms of uh, the defense and security sector, uh, NATO has been strongly engaged and uh, we also appreciate um, uh, progress uh, achieved in that area. So all in all, uh, NATO has given a very positive assessment uh, of um, uh, the reform efforts uh, in uh, Georgia. 
well, as I said, you know, for us, uh, we, the Secretary General basically said brilliantly, I cannot put it in a better way, if I had, I would have said that, you know, nobody can sell success of Georgian government more to the world and also to the Georgian people as he does, uh, as a very good communicator, but also it's a substance to it. And the substance is that our rapprochement to NATO has been driving that process as well. This is not just an issue, you know, when we talk about reforms, the fact that 70% plus of our people are firmly committed to membership of NATO and only nine is against. That clearly shows you that that's a very powerful motivator for further democratic reforms and changes. And uh, from that point of view, we are very committed. We are very committed to security because, as we said, we want to be part of wider picture. Georgians have in their um, almost like code uh, national of national history of being ourselves a complex multi-ethnic country with lots of background, complex background, that we should be present in these international operations. And we want NATO to succeed, succeed, succeed. Any kind of setback for NATO would be a major multiplied setback for Georgia. That's a very clear thing for us. We cannot stay intact or neutral or, you know, just uh, impartial when we are talking about these issues where we, where we have absolutely life kind of uh, interest in, in, in terms of succeed or success of their lives. From that point of view, whatever we can do in now withdrawal process, but also finishing the operation correctly. Also, unfortunately, knowing that our people have died there and there is always a risk in uh, the building post-war Afghanistan, in contributing to it, not only in terms of funds, but also in terms of changes, reforms, training, uh, giving our own infrastructure for that, uh, participates with our own infrastructure in the withdrawal process. We are willing to do all of that, and I think this will only enhance our ties with the Alliance, because it's also, ultimately, that's what it, it's all it's also about for our people. In any case, we have much better working cooperation now in NATO with ever, than ever before. We used to have very good political relations. Now, under this leadership of NATO, and also within the, because within the last two years, we really got through commission and other things, concrete instruments, how we could cooperate better. And we are doing that. Thank you, Thank you very much. This concludes the press point. Thank you.